Hi everybody, welcome to a new video. I hope you've all been doing really, really well. Today I wanted to share with you a new experiment that I'm conducting. Now, if you're familiar with my old channel and the flashback video that I posted up on this channel, you may recall me doing an experiment where I only lived with my personal belongings that could fit in my bag and it's time for me to try it again and I'm really really excited it's been a while since I've really done my focus minimalism as I used to call it and I'm just really excited to get started so what you see here is my billabong backpack my billabong handbag and clothing that I would be wearing that doesn't fit into my backpack in my old video of the you know extreme minimalist experiment on my old channel i had someone comment saying oh come on you know you only live with these items you must live with your mom you know that you don't own anything now i am the mum. i have two children i have a husband we are minimalists we're not necessarily extreme minimalists in the home but we're pretty minimalist and i do share things with my family obviously my husband and i have a bed we have pillows and we just live as minimal as possible but we do have things hypothetically if i was to travel which is something i look forward to when my children are older if we were to travel, we would be staying in places that had a bed, that had a lounge, pots and pans, cooking, uh, like stoves, uh, towels, that kind of thing. So we would probably be choosing those kind of places anyway. So I wouldn't need to pack those kind of things. So yes, we do own a couple of pots. We do have some baking trays. You know, we do have very minimal supplies compared to a lot of other families we're still quite minimal so what i wanted to do today is just for my own personal belongings i wanted to simplify my life even more i want to live out of this backpack as much as possible so that i can reduce the stress and anxiety that comes from always looking for things because I am a minimalist, I only have a few supplies and if they're not in the same spot every single time when I put them, because I do have children, they do tend to take things and borrow them, I get really stressed out because I don't know where these things are. So I would like to live mainly in my backpack. My clothes are going to be up in my wardrobe, but these are the personal belongings that I will be using. The only thing that I own that is primarily mine, that obviously I can't pack, is my desktop computer, which you may have seen in some of my Mini Moments vlogs, and my desk, and my chair, and that kind of thing. Now, I've currently started studying early childhood education and care. I've just started, I'm in week three now, because I work with children and I want to, you know, study. I need those things as part of my studies so I can't really put them in my bag this is my everyday bag it's quite small as you can see it's almost like a clutch size and this is literally what I take with me in here all the time so I have my chums wallet this is representing my phone which I'm currently filming on I have my sunglasses and as a neurodiverse person who uh, enjoys stimming and those sort of things, I have a piece, a piece of fluffy material here and a fidget spinner. Now, I am autistic with ADHD. I get very overwhelmed in a lot of uh, public environments and these really help me with, uh, you know, self-stimming um, and calming myself down and stuff like that. So these are a necessity for me. So I usually keep them in my bag with the rest of my things like that so the next part I want to show you here are these items of clothing so we are going away in two weeks time and I've basically already picked out my traveling outfit I have my long black skirt that I've shown you in my wardrobe uh, to a video. This is one of my black baggy tops and I have a pair of socks. 
I will also be wearing my Converse shoes that you might have seen in uh, my last video. And I'm currently wearing a bra and a pair of underwear right now as I'm filming. So I'll be wearing those as well. So I will do a total count of clothing once I've opened up the bag. But I've kept them out as sort of a representation of, you know, most of the time I'm wearing clothes. And this is just an example of something that I would wear every day kind of thing. Now, the next thing in my bag I wanted to show you is another fidget toy. This is a tangle. I've attached it to the strap so that I don't lose it. And again, it is another thing for me to use as coping mechanisms and, you know, uh, stimming and all that sort of stuff. So if you're a neurodivergent person, you will understand that some of these things are kind of important. Now, I actually have a couple of hobbies in here and I really wanted to share that with you as well because I do believe that as minimalists or extreme minimalists, you should be able to have hobbies if you enjoy doing arts and crafts. In my last backpack video, I showed my watercolor paints. Now, surprisingly, I actually didn't use them, but I've started a new hobby and I'm gonna be showing you what that is. Okay, so in this front pocket, I have my Body Shop pouch, which I've had for about two and a bit years. And inside, I have a whole bunch of colored cottons. These are embroidery floss from DMC. And I have been making bracelets and I've been selling them. This one's mine, I've had it on for quite a while now. In the tin, I have the bottom half of a small candle so I can wax my cord, my cotton if I want to, and a couple of essentials like a key ring clip and a few sewing uh, needles in there. As you can see, I have used one of my clips for my bag here and I've made this. Um, I also like using the tin because when I'm in a project, I can put the the um the project in here close it up put a weight on it like a water bottle and then i can plait and braid and knot my project from this tin so it's not just a holder but it's also like an anchor point for my projects so that will go back in there i have a couple of other little ziploc bags for completed projects here are some of my completed ones that are available for sale. And then I have a couple of orders that I'm currently in the process of making. So I keep them in the plastic bag to keep them safe and clean. If there's any spillages anywhere or if it's raining, then I know that they're protected. And then inside, also in another plastic bag, is these are the colours that I've currently run out of so that when I pop into a shop that has DMC, because that's the only brand that I really work with, I know that I can get each, each one of these cards are numbered so that I know what colours they are and they're always handy to have. And then inside here, a variety of cottons. I don't actually know how many I've got in here. My, my last count, I had about 60 colours, but I don't think these are all in, in here. I think I've got a couple packed away because I wasn't really using them. So I also have a pair of children's sort of safety scissors. All right, so I've just opened up the backpack and the first thing you will see is my Sennheisen's headphones. These are another essential for me. I'm a music lover. These are noise cancelling. These are really essential and they're really good quality. I've recently just changed the padding on here and it's absolutely beautiful. I love them. I have a canvas bag here. These are really good for just carrying around any snacks or anything for the children or if um, you know we're going shopping and I don't want to use a plastic bag. So that's in there as well. I have a small drawstring bag and it has a couple of writing essentials in here. So I have a ruler, I have a friction pen, I have two mile lighters and I also have a ballpoint pen and a glue stick. I'm currently studying as I said and I will need to be studying when I when we do go away so part of this experiment also combines the idea of what do I need to take when we go down to South Australia 
I do need to study while we're away and we will be away for 10 nights in total so I, I need to continue studying. So I do have my notebooks on all my study content. I'm only in week three so you know there's not a lot. I'm using one book for two subjects so um, that's my second subject and this is my first so that will need to come with me. I also have my new manga, loved the anime so I'm really happy to start reading this. I got that for my birthday, I bought it myself. And then my other little hobby is my journal and planner and just in this bag I've got a couple of stickers. I don't really know if I'm going to take them with me when we travel. I might because it might be fun for the kids as well so that'll be a little activity for them as well. I have a toiletry bag, I have medication which I'm not going to show you what they are. I have some deodorant, I have my preventer uh, for asthma, uh, we'll need to bring Ventolin and everything anyway and I have my toothbrush which has a little bit of fluff from the inside of my toiletry bag and I have a pair of tweezers. Now in this toiletry bag I'm not quite sure if I'm actually going to be keeping this one because it's not actually waterproof so I may end up getting something else I'm not really quite sure but this is what I'm working with at the moment when we do go to travel I will be making a new packing for a family of four video and I will be adding toiletries for the rest of my family most likely in this bag or whatever I use instead of this bag but that's what I have that I'm going to be using and last but not least is my wardrobe this is my clothes since my minimalist wardrobe uh, video that I uploaded recently I've actually gotten rid of a couple of items because they have gotten older so I've actually thrown out two black t-shirts and one black dress I finally had to get rid of my black dress I after inspecting it thoroughly I realized that there are a lot of holes that I couldn't fix anymore and so it was just time to go it served me really well but you know it's time to go there are a couple of other items that I currently don't have in my wardrobe because it's not yet warm enough uh, cold enough sorry my linen skirt my winter leggings and my Nike hoodie are currently packed away because it's not hot enough and out of sight out of mind so less clutter okay so we're gonna have a look at my wardrobe in my packing cube I've just removed my underwear and bras because I don't really want to show them show you them I have four pairs of underwear and two bras so in total uh, next I have my second pair of socks here my black pair of leggings which I'd like to replace them and they'll be thrown out once I get a new pair. I have another black t-shirt, another black t-shirt, my corduroy skirt, oh wait, this is my black singlet or tank top. It actually needs to be washed, I just popped it in here for the sake of this video. Currently what I'm working with with a wardrobe is three bottoms and three tops plus my tank top or singlet that I would be wearing mainly for either layering underneath something or as a sleep top. So we've got one, two, and back here with my traveling skirt. So that's one, two, three bottoms, and then tops, one, two, third t-shirt. And so that's one, two, three, so it's three outfits basically, and then a singlet tank top to wear underneath this or at night time when I'm going to sleep plus two pairs of socks that's it seven items of clothing plus four pairs of underwear two bras two pairs of socks and I also have a thick cardigan that apparently I didn't bring down here with me but you saw it in my last video it's just a gray cardigan um yeah that's what we're doing really extreme minimalist wardrobe there i am still on the lookout for maybe a new dress to replace my old black one it'll depend on what i can find but at the moment if i have seven pairs of clothing then i have seven pairs of clothing you know and I keep things pretty minimal we'll see how we go we've got two weeks before we leave so it'll depend and I do 
I do see myself finding something down in South Australia that I would like to buy. So I don't mind going down, like thinking travel wise, I don't mind traveling with three outfits, including a um, traveling outfit, because I would like to try and find a couple of pieces while I'm in a different state, while I'm in a city, to be concluded on the outfit situation. The last thing that I wanted to show you is my little jewelry pouch. Now I love jewelry, but for me personally, I still like to keep it really simple. So I have my wedding ring slash engagement ring and my bracelet that I made myself. My leather Pandora bracelet. Now I do have beads, but they're all packed away because I just don't like them around my wrist it's actually quite uncomfortable but I love the beads so I'm not getting rid of them but I really do love the double bracelet from Pandora I have two necklaces here one is a, a death moth necklace so it's a death moth which is really cool it's a bit gothic I really like it and I also have my anniversary amethyst that my husband gave me. If you've seen my other videos, you might remember that this was actually with a black cord. That was the synthetic cord and after a while I just kind of didn't really like it. So I learned how to do the macrame knotting and I gave it a new, a new look and I really, really love it. And then with the earrings, I only have two pairs of earrings which I'm about to put my bees back in. But if this can focus, so with my earrings, I have little beads here. Excuse my nails. I don't really take care of my nails very well. Um, I have a pair of bumblebees and a little pair of gold hearts. And that's it for jewelry. Amethyst. Death moth. And my bracelet. I'm going to put these back in my ears now. And that is all the jewelry that I have. I do have some old jewellery that belonged to my mother that I received when she passed away um, but they're packed away as sentimental items and I don't bring them out because some of them are kind of old and all that sort of stuff so um, I just keep them for memories. I don't wear them. Okay so that's it for this video. I'm going to be putting my clothes away back into my wardrobe. I'm going to pack these things back into my backpack so that I can keep everything together and you know my underwear and, and things like that will go into my drawer. You may know that if you watched my last videos that I had a lot more socks and more underwear that kind of thing. Some of those pieces of underwear have like pairs of underwear have been thrown out because they were older and I've actually downsized my socks. I gave um, what I've really noticed is that I really love having these shorter you know that's the heel I like the shorter socks I've just noticed that I've been wearing these so much more than the longer socks so um, I actually gave my other socks to my daughter and now she has some of my like my Bulbasaur Pokemon socks and my Pikachu socks and all that sort of stuff so she has my longer ones now and um, I've just basically kept myself to two pairs of socks now which are my two favorites so that's it for today's video. Please stay tuned in the next couple of weeks. We leave home on the 28th of um, March to go down to South Australia. I will be making a minimalist family packing video. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in seeing it. And I hope that you've all been well and looking after yourselves. So until next time, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.